that goes on there. And then they got my little box like this. That box will soon turn into one of these handmade wooden toy trucks. 91-year-old Herman Kamstra is like a real-life Santa Claus with his very own toy factory. You have a toy shop. You're like a real-life Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else can I do? I mean, uh, and it's nice for kids and for, I give a lot of stuff away, so it uh, gives me satisfaction, yeah. A Dutch immigrant, Kamstra came to Canada and started a construction business. But after he retired, he started puttering in his workshop. It's totally like Santa's workshop, yeah. That turned into a full-blown toy factory when Herman was about 83 years old. So he decided to make toys and donate them to the Salvation Army, and he's been doing it ever since, donating more than a thousand toys since then. They're straight from, you know, Grandpa's workshop, just as good as Santa's workshops. At the Salvation Army in Burlington, his handcrafted wood toys are among the most popular as families choose their Christmas gifts. As you can see, he made 30 and there's, uh, there's not a whole lot left. I remember the first time he came in, I guess he was around 83 or something, and I couldn't believe he was doing it then. And now at 91 to still be making these trucks. And uh, he just takes such great pride in what he's doing. And it's, um, it's, it's nice to see uh, him every single year coming back. And that is a very special tradition that his family hopes to carry on. I just happened to see all these things and I started making them just this year. So it's working out well so far. And he comes over and he actually says they look okay. <laughs> you hope to carry on this tradition yeah, throughout the so. years? Yeah, I hope so. So while everyone around him thinks that this real-life Santa Claus is something very special, Herman just shakes off all the praise. That's not special, no. <laughs> I mean, does it make you feel good that you no, have no, I, no, no, no. How come? <laughs> I love to do this. Yeah. And then uh, I satisfy some little kids, you know. We're not that well off, so. Well, even though all of the donations have already been made for this year, he's still working hard building toys in his workshop. In Waterdown, Audra Brown, City News.